Hello everyone, my name is Travis and welcome to Streets of Rogue. This is a really awesome game and if you don't know about it, you're really missing out because this is a fun little game that I loved playing back when it was in development. It released not too long ago into its full version. Um, there's not a whole lot to say. It's another one of these roguelike, very small games that's really great for killing time, but it's very, it's very funny. It's super awesome and, um... Hey, you know, let's just jump into it and get a quick start on it, okay? And I'll explain a little bit more as we go along. So as you can see here, we have a list of different characters from your slum dweller, soldier, gangster, uh, a creep, <laughs> a creep and a blad, a blod. Anyway, we got all kinds of characters here, but if you look on the side, what separates them is their stats, their traits, and their starting items. So the slum dweller has a trait that gives him a lot of extra XP and earns fewer chicken nuggets on level up. Now what chicken nuggets are basically items you can use to, uh, uh, actually I, for I think you can use them to purchase different special items. You use money to purchase uh, other in-game items in the world, but nuggets I'm pretty sure are used to buy... Oh, they're used to unlock special items in the world, so that's what makes it roguelike in a way. Anyway, they all have different starting items and traits, and you can also make your own characters. You can see I've got mine down here, who has a list of a massive amount of traits, but has some that are also negative. So not all traits are good. Take a look here really quick, you'll see what I mean. And, um, yeah, let's just jump into it. The game loads very fast, but here, I want to show you something that's really awesome. Something that I really like about this game. And it's kind of silly, but watch. This idiot has no idea. I'm going to do it again. Now you're dead. Now I can go into his fridge, raid his shit, and that's all he can do about it. And that's it. It's over. I can destroy him. Now, I can't break walls with my fists, but I can send somebody flying through the wall, and it'll work just as good. I want to buy something from you. Do I have any change? No, I don't. Oh my god! Well, there he goes. I just blasted him into a bloody mess. Now, what's our objective? I'm pretty close already. Um... Ah, we have an objective in the building to our left. In the garbage cans, we found some beer. That's okay. I can get in like that, and, 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 now we've opened up a new, a new way to escape. That's okay, I'll just turn off the security system, open the locked doors, yada, 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 and everything is all good. Oh, he's got a bat, that's not good for me. I'm gonna get messed up. There we go, okay. Well, that wasn't the best, but it did its job. Alright, cool. Almost got real messed up there. Oh, yes. And we got a reward for our mission, too. Oh, that reminds me. You have to complete the missions on the map in order to get rewards and also to leave the level, as you can see by the exit sign up here at the top. But there's also all kinds of other things you can do. Side missions, there are chests you can collect, and all of them will kind of power you up for whatever comes next in the game. But anyway, let's abuse one of my traits really quick, and I'll show you exactly what it means. See, he's suspicious of me. I don't want to fuck with him because that guy's got a gun right there, but, you know, that's, that's something I don't mess with. I don't, I don't generally go out of my way to be a dick. What if I kicked all your asses at once? Oh, yeah, you're not so, you're not so willing to throw me out now, are you? You can't throw me out if you're dead. That is what I thought. Idiot. All right, so we finished off the level, and there's our overall score for it all. We collect some XP for that delicious display of destruction, and... When we continue, we get to choose a trait. This isn't for every level, I don't think. I think it's one or two times every floor. So let's take a look. Walls, worst nightmare. Easier to knock people through walls, don't really need that. Attacks likely to do critical damage, and item shops cost less. Well, I can't use that one because I can't go in buildings, and I don't really care for that because it causes a lot of damage, which becomes inconvenient. So I'll just go with the damage chance. Nothing wrong with a little extra damage. What was that? Oh! Oh, you... What's that? A bat to the face? Oh! Good lord. You just got messed up, idiot. You are free. Congratulations. You're right. 
Uh-uh, uh, -uh, -uh. I let you out of prison and this is what you do? You irresponsible bastard. I ain't gonna take that from you. A goodie dispenser. Let's see what's in there. A mystery item for 52 bucks? Fuck that. Let's take it. It's a deal. Bulletproof vest? Oh, I got the shopkeeper. I've never unlocked that one before. Okay. Well, apparently I have a bulletproof vest now. Hell yeah. I can go wanton destruction. Okay, if I buy something from him, say a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, there we go. Then I'll just fucking destroy him. There we go. Hey, fuck you. Don't tell me to leave. I'll do whatever the hell I please. Dumbass. Oh, I just caused a problem. That was a big problem. What are these buttons for, though, I wonder? I don't really know. It just turns the lights off? Well, that's not very useful. Let me show you something else that's kind of useful. The air filtration system, which is really cool. You can insert a giant number of things in there. And it'll spray it through the vents right there. And everyone inside will be affected by it. So it'll give them a number of status effects, like it'll drain health from them, which the cigarettes do, and keep them out of the building for just long enough. Oh boy, I'm gonna need this key for this. What's going on? Oh, dead again? Well, what a surprise. And I'm not even gonna bother with those. They don't matter to me at all. Mini fridge, what the hell? Why would I need that? Keeps your food nice and fresh, giving you a health bonus. On food that you eat as long- Oh, that's pretty sick, actually. I don't mind that. Okay, there's a syringe filled with a bunch of stuff in there, and there's a gorilla in the cage. So let's see what happens. I don't know what the syringe does. Okay, it slows them down. What? <laughs> there you go, run free, gorilla man! Own self. Hey, it's me! Let's go, buddy! And I picked up another syringe. Okay, where am I supposed to go now? Oh, shit! Kill him, kill him! Get him! You can do it! Oh, he's fucking him up. Oh, the cops, they never stop coming. They don't. The cops are brutal. They're brutalizing me. Oh, now the blood, now the crepes are after him. The crepes. What the fuck? You just take my money, you son of a bitch? Let's make him attack them. That's right, go in there, buddy. Make it happen. Oh, shit! It's a bloodbath. Yes, I want you to attack him. Go, get him. Now. What are you doing? Are you stupid? Do I have to fucking kill you now, too? Go ahead, come on, then. Come on, then. I can take you. That's right. Nobody can beat me. I'm the only me. Fuck you. Idiot. Now, for the love of God. Oh, there we go. I leveled up, and I got chicken nuggets. Sweet. And I got a banana. Oh yeah, that fully healed me too? That's pretty sick. Go, 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 go! That's right. <laughs> Alright. Yet another victory for Travis. Oh, what else can I do? I can level it up or all map markers are filled. Speed? Or do more damage? I would rather do more damage, actually. That's pretty sick. Oh shit! He's got a gun? Well, that makes it much easier for me to die. That's exactly what I had in mind. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Get back in here. See what happens. See what happens. Go ahead. Go ahead. You won't. Oop. Oh, <laughs> you just got fucked. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, uh, your employer died, so you're, di you're dipping now? <laughs> well, I guess, I guess if that's the way to do it, right? Oh, shit! Well. Alright. Let's dip it back. Wait, just a sec. Come on. No, 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 no. We don't play like that. Oh god, I'm about to die. I have nothing that I can use. Are you out of ammo? Oh, you're out of ammo. I get you now. Fuck you, you're dead to me. That's right, idiot. You ain't got shit. I just picked up another gun, too. Hell yeah. Well, invincible for that long? Well, shit. Well, that's not very useful at all. Oh, it's for ghosts. My bad. My bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> looks like he just got shot up. Oh, that's what's spreading. Oh, my God. Okay. I have to... Oh, I forgot how to do this. Well, if he dies, then... Oh, God. What do I do? What do I do? It's just gonna kill me. Look. 
Unless it kills him first, it's absolutely 100% just going to kill me every single time. Well, that's the end of my run. Well, that sucked. Anyway, here I can show you the home base. It's a place you can go to after each of your runs, and there are certain special things about it that make it pretty awesome. Not only is it a place where you can check out some of the character designs, but also you can play with a friend, which is always awesome. You can play online or locally, I believe. You've got your seed, which is what your maps are based on. It's because it's, uh, it's randomly generated. Each level of the game is randomly generated to a point. You can unlock traits using some of the nuggets that you found. I have 60, as you can see. And, um, yeah. It's pretty awesome. There's a whole lot of things you can do in the game that I wasn't really able to get around because my build is basically centered on I'm going to punch everything to death that I possibly can. But, you know, there are different builds, so to speak, in the game that can mess around with different items to different effects, and it's all just really awesome stuff. So, uh, yeah, you know, I really hope you enjoyed the game because I had a lot of fun playing it with my friends back in the day. Uh, it's not an old game, I say back in the day, but it's still, you know, relatively new. If it looks fun to you and you want to play some more of it, because it is a funny game, trust me, I've played it so much, um, just, you know, you can grab it on Steam. It's really cheap. It's really awesome. It's one of the best rated small games that I've seen like this. Uh, 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 one of the best rated games of this scale that I've seen. And played, even. It was really awesome. I just stumbled upon it by accident, and it really blew up. So, yeah. If you want to check it out for yourself, it's on Steam. It's not very expensive. It's really awesome to play, and you're not going to find a single person who hates the game. So, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you sticking with me through this. If you enjoyed the video, please like and comment down below. If you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Share the videos to spread the good word, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, friends.